muddy walk around Kenilworth for this week's Best Assembly. As you can see from our previous Best Assemblies, the seasons have changed, crops have grown and been harvested. Let's see how your knowledge is being harvested at the moment and find out who your teachers have been chosen to be the best learner this week. I have chosen Abdur this week because since day one of remote learning he has demonstrated his determination and commitment to his learning. Abdul attends all meetings and completes all of his assigned tasks. At every meeting, Abdul is ready with his school jumper on, looking very smart and ready for the learning for the day. Keep it up, Abdul. You are doing very well. The best learner this week in 6H, I have chosen Iman. Iman has been working incredibly hard. She works just as hard as at home as she does at school, and it's really impressive to see. All of the work that she sends me is always to a very high level and she is obviously trying so hard at home. She shows great determination and stickability, which is really good to see that that Holbrook best is still being lived up to at home. Well done, Aman. Keep it up. The best learner in 6G this week is Amy. Amy is being fantastic whilst learning online. She arrives on time with her camera on and she sat beautifully with her uniform on. She's also completing some fabulous pieces of work, notably her artwork, which is sensational. Amy, well done and keep it up. Mr. Richards has chosen to give Pamir the best award for this week. He said Pamir is always online working so hard and participating fantastically in the lessons. He always submits some great work and Mr Richard said that one of the highlights of his day is being able to comment on Pamir's work because he always knows it's going to be great. Well done Pamir. Mrs Denny has chosen Mitchell for this week's best award in her class because she said that Mitchell has been showing such a great attitude towards home learning. He's turning in all of his work and contributing amazing ideas during live sessions. Keep up the good work Mitchell, well done. I have chosen Ishmael for best this week. He is always on the live sessions and always contributing amazing ideas to my lesson. He always emails me his work and the emails are so polite and so well written, they are a pleasure to read and reply to. If Ishmael gets stuck on a piece of work at home, he will make sure to go and ask for help, which shows that he's resilient because he does not want to give up. He is a great role model to the other children in my class, so I want to say a big well done Ishmael. It was extremely difficult to decide who to give the best award to this week because everyone is working ever so hard. However, we have decided to choose Cody in 2B because of how engaged he has been during our lives and for the quality of the work that he has been turning in. He is enthusiastic and following all our rules. I want you to keep up the great work, Cody, and I'd also like to say a huge thank you to his mom for the support that she is giving him. Well done. This week, I have picked Abdur Rahim because he always demonstrates an enthusiasm and positive attitude towards his learning. He has been attending every session in his school uniform, which has put a smile on all of our faces. He completes and turns in every piece of work we set and it is always presented beautifully. He is trying really hard in all areas of the curriculum. Keep up the great work, Abdur Rahim. You should feel very proud of everything that you are achieving. Well done. This week I have been working with 2K while Mr Cooler has been on paternity leave. I have been so impressed with Julia's work. Every day she sends in topic, English, maths and I can tell she's been really trying hard. Well done Julia, keep up the good work. Mrs Mason has chosen Gerber this week for best. He has joined in and contributed in the live sessions and is really showing his enthusiasm. Gerbir has been attempting his challenges and has done especially well with his cosmic yoga and PE sessions with Joe. Gerbir is trying hard with all his learning at home and this is fantastic to see. Please keep it up. This week, Mrs Lee has chosen Janet to receive best. She works hard every day and is always prepared for her learning. She has attended every live session. 
Janet actively takes part in our sessions and contributes brilliantly. She applies her learning from the live teaching sessions to her own independent work in all areas of her learning at home. We have loved seeing her yoga and snow pictures too. Please keep up all the hard work and a big thank you to Janet's mum for all her help and support. This week, I have chosen Sakina for the best learner. This is because she's trying so hard with her learning from home. She has attended all our live sessions, she contributes to them really well and enthusiastically talks about her learning when it's time to share. She really tries to apply her knowledge when completing the challenges and her mum is turning in the work on Google Classrooms regularly. We really appreciate all the parent support and it makes a massive difference to Sakina and the other children's learning. Well done Sakina, please keep up the hard work. This week, myself and Mrs Henry would like to present our best award to not one person, but to five. This week, the learning mentors and Mrs Montague and Mrs O in the front office have worked really hard, almost like a telephone support desk for IT. They've been making sure that all the children can get online, helping out parents, not just in English, but in Romania as well. And thanks to that, we've got some great learning happening in our classrooms. So well done to you, keep it up. This week from 1LS, we're awarding the best certificate to Gourish. He is such a sensible, responsible little boy who has taken real ownership of his learning. He comes online always ready to learn with the correct equipment and if he doesn't understand any of the tasks, he makes sure that he asks questions to help him understand his learning better. He regularly sends his work in for us to take a look at and this shows us that he is taking real pride in all of his learning activities. Keep up this fantastic attitude, Gorish. Well done. Kuba is being awarded best learner this week because he has joined us online every day for our learning. He has shown lots of enthusiasm and interest towards his learning activities and is always ready and waiting sensibly for our live meets to begin. Kuba has especially worked hard to improve both his addition and subtraction number sentences. What a superstar! Saki has been given the best learner this week because he has tried so hard with his writing. Sometimes he does find it a little tricky, but with mum's support and encouragement, he has persevered and produced some lovely writing. He has also put on his PE kit and completed the Joe Wicks's workouts. Keep up the great work, Saki. To year three is part of the best assembly. So we'll start with Athushan in Miss Collins's class. Athushan is a very dedicated virtual learner. He always comes to the live sessions ready to learn and excited about his lessons. He joins in enthusiastically. He also almost always hands his work in and it's always high quality. This shows that he is working hard when he's on screen and when he's off screen. Well done, we are proud of you. In 3S, Sarah has been making Miss Smith really proud this week. Sarah attends all of her online lessons and always has her hand up to answer questions. She has really impressed us all by remembering keywords from all of our lessons and has earned the nickname the Human Dictionary. Sarah's work is always presented beautifully, so you can see that she is really trying her best with everything she does. Well done, Sarah. You really are showing Holbrook's best. And from 3A, we have Kiara. Kiara in 3A has been a superstar online, making sure that her behaviour is as amazing on the internet as it is in school. She is always on time and ready to learn and is happy to participate in class discussions. Kiara always tries her best and is never afraid to say if she isn't sure of something. I find her courage very impressive. Keep up the fantastic work. 
You are all the absolute best. This week we have chosen Alfie as best learner. Even though Alfie has had some technical difficulties, he has persevered with his learning and he has still managed to complete and turn in his work. Alfie has made sure to reach out for support when he has needed it. We are so impressed with your enthusiasm towards learning and love to see your artwork. Well done. For best learner this week, we have chosen the always happy Hajara. We have been so impressed by the fantastic quality of her work and the pride she has in her presentation. Hajara, you are a role model in our class. Thank you for always being willing to contribute during our live lessons. Keep up the hard work. You're a star. This week in 5G, our best learner goes to Liber. Liber has been truly dedicated to her learning since we've been in lockdown. She attends all the live sessions and is always on time. She contributes in the chat and makes sure that she uses appropriate punctuation even when she's typing. Liber has sent in nearly every piece of work asked of her and always does so to the best of her ability. I really enjoyed reading your poem. Lots of families had fun building dens this week on the challenge but I have decided to pick Manahil and Manor for their den, which they turned into a place to read, to play on the computer games and do some drawing. Well done. Thank you for watching this week's Best Assembly. It's been great to see so many of you online in your lessons this week. And let's keep the great learning going at home. Until next time, stay at home and stay safe.